Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about voting rights and how that has changed over time. I know we've spent the last couple days sort of getting some background information and um, talking about this a little bit, but today we're really going to delve into um, how the right to vote has changed and progressed over time. So can I get somebody to read the um, learning objective on the board? Yeah, I'll go for it. Describe how voting rights have changed over time by creating a timeline that shows the progression of voting rights over time. Awesome. So, um, like this says, we're going to be working on a timeline today. So I will show you guys the materials for that um, on Canvas here in a minute. But we're just going to start um, by I'm going to throw out some examples. And I want you guys to tell me, based on what you know, um, can this person currently vote in the United States? Um, so we'll start, um, some of them might be kind of obvious, some of them might be a little more tricky and we'll kind of talk through it. And then hopefully by the end of the lesson, you'll know all of these. So um, Thomas, can a woman living in California vote? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Megan, can an undocumented immigrant from Cuba vote? No, they cannot. No, they cannot. That's correct. Do you know why? Because it is illegal. Because they're not a, they're not a citizen. <laughs> That's correct. Um, L, can um, your friend who is 18 but still in high school, can they vote? Yes. Yes, they can. Um, and let's do one more. Let's say, um, this I will leave out to anybody. What about a Native American man living in Arizona? Native Americans can vote. And we'll talk more about um, each of these different categories. So um, before we get started, I just want to make sure we're on the same page as far as some important vocab terms that are going to come up a few times in this lesson. Um, so can anybody tell me what an amendment is? Okay. Yeah, thank you. An amendment, it's like a change or an addition. So like an amendment to the Constitution means something's come up. We're like, oh no, the Constitution doesn't cover this. We think it really should. So we're going to add this part on to the end. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. What about the word suffrage? Hmm, I know that one. Go for it, Elle. That's the right to vote. Yeah, suffrage is basically just a fancy word for voting. I thought that meant suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Common mistake. That's why we're going over it. Um, and then lastly, the word legislation. Anybody know? If not, that's okay. Legislation is just a fancy word for laws. So if we, when we're talking about legislation getting passed, that means a new bill um, or some sort of new law um, has become an official part of an official part of our legal system and our laws. So um, to complete this timeline, if you could all get out your laptops and open up Canvas, um, and then go to today's date and open up the voting rights timeline assignment. What's today's date? Today's date is February 17th. <coughs> Awesome. Everybody get it? Okay, so you will have the option of completing this timeline either in this Google Doc and submitting it online. You can also, um, I have some physical copies. If you prefer to write it out, you can do that. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you, neither of those sound good, you can record a video of yourself sort of just talking through the timeline. So any one of those three ways will be totally fine. Um, let's talk more about how this timeline works and what we're going to be doing. So as you can see, there are nine boxes coming off of this timeline. So we're going to be talking about nine different instances where the right to vote was expanded. Um, who can tell me when our country first started, who could vote? Could a woman living in California vote? No, ma'am. No, California didn't exist at the time and also no women could Some vote. <laughs> um, what about Native Americans? No, Absolutely definitely not. not. Um, so obviously the right to vote has changed a lot. So let's talk through each box. Um, and then we'll do an example together. 
and then you guys will have the opportunity to work individually and in a small group. So this is what your box looks like, right? Yes. Number one, um, in each box, you're gonna write out the year that um, certain legislation or certain amendments were passed <laughs> to expand the right to vote. You're gonna write what the legislation was or what the amendment was. And you're going to write who can now vote. And that will be each one of these boxes. So we're going to do the first one together. Um, can you guys go to your news ELA accounts? And you should have um, an article assigned in there called Conceived of Compromises Creating the U.S. Constitution. Um, I'll give you guys a minute to pull that up. What was it called again? Conceived of Compromises Creating the U.S. Constitution. Now, hopefully you guys read this either yesterday before class ended or for homework last night. Um, so can somebody tell me, um, and well, I'll back up a little bit. The reason that I chose to talk about the Constitution is because that's when we first started having laws in this country, right? That's when we first started sort of implementing this idea that people can vote and choose their leaders. So that's why we started we're starting with the Constitution. Um, can somebody tell me when the constitutional, uh, when the Constitution was made official, when it was ratified, what should we put um, for a year for the Constitution? Um, 1787. Very good, Megan, thank you. So 1787 was the year. Um, and then, so as I'm doing this, you guys can be writing this in your own copies of the timeline. Um, so the year was 1787. The legislation in this case, the only legislation that we have in the United States is the Constitution. And that's what we're focusing on here. Um, and who can vote? In 1787, in really, really early America, who has the right to vote? Based on what you read or based on your background knowledge? Yeah, Elle? White people. All white people? No. No, okay. Which white people? Men. Uh-huh, so white men. Land. They have to own land. Yeah, they have to own land. So we have white men who own land. And there's one more, actually. Anybody know? It says something about taxes. Yeah, so taxes has to do with it. Um, you know, if you own land, you're going to have to pay taxes. But actually what I'm getting at here is there was a religious requirement. So um, you had to be a white, land-owning, Protestant, um, no, man. Thank you, Megan. Um, so in this box, we're just going to write white, land owning, Protestant. And Protestant is um, a type of Christianity. I don't think that's fair. Why not? Uh, because there's a lot of people who don't fit in that category so I feel like they should also have a say in what happens in America yeah absolutely and um, I completely agree with you and over time the public opinion of Americans changed to agree with that and that's what this assignment is looking at is how we um, have changed that over time so before I cut you guys loose do you have any questions about what you're doing in each box of your timeline. Does it matter where the, the, like which one we do first? Like whether you write the year first or the, or anything like that, is that what you're asking? 
Yeah, and also like, it doesn't matter if we put it for, like, if we do the, because I don't know what, which ones we do for which dates. Oh, I see and what so you're I saying. Don't know. Yeah. Can so, we just pick the readings? Or? So let's talk about that. So on Canvas, you should have nine different readings or videos or resources to help you out. If you want to find your own resources and find more information, you are welcome to do that. But I've provided enough information for you to, um, to get what you need. Um, on your planning sheet that you should see at the bottom of your timeline page, um, you can pick the readings in any order you want. Okay. Because that makes sense. Like you don't know what order they come in yet, right? That's what we're working on. So on your planning sheet, you can start filling out some of those dates and some of that information so that when you go to actually do the timeline, you can put those dates in order. Um, and then if you look at the timeline, there's numbers in all the boxes. So box number one is gonna be the constitution. And then whatever you find comes next, right after the constitution, that will go in box number two. And then you'll keep going that way till you get all nine boxes. <coughs> okay. Thanks for your question, Thomas. What other questions do we have? Does it matter if I pick the same one as somebody else? Somebody else in your group? Yeah. No, you guys can all be working on this together. Um, I'm gonna give you some time to work individually first to sort of get some ideas going and so you can start looking at these resources. Um, but this assignment, I think will it will be helpful to work in groups so that you can answer each other's questions um, and help each other out. So um, everybody should kind of be familiar with all of them, but that's why you're in groups is so that you can answer questions and work with each other that way. Okay, good. Awesome, anything else? before I show you some resources uh, to help you get started. Okay, um, so I already showed you News ELA. Um, that will help um, if you want, um, if you want the reading read aloud to you, you can do that. You can change the reading level. If you're more comfortable reading in Spanish, you can change that as well. Um, and then another resource that I have linked in Canvas is the Annenberg Classroom. That is super helpful for the Constitution. So if you are really struggling to understand what the 19th Amendment is saying or what the 26th Amendment is saying, go to the Annenberg classroom, click on the whatever it is you're trying to understand, and that will help you put it into language that might be more familiar. Um, and then when you're done uh, working with your groups, um, the last part of this assignment is a reflection. And it's just two questions, it shouldn't be um, shouldn't take too long, but um, I want you guys to be thinking about these questions as you're working. So the first one is to just reflect on your group participation. So what did you do? What did you contribute? Um, what was your behavior like? Just so that I can get an idea of how you um, contributed to the group. Um, and then the second question is to um, to write a short paragraph about which of these voting rights and expansions of voting rights you think um, is most relevant and most interesting to you. So um, lots of different people, like Thomas was saying, don't fit into that box of white landowning Christian men, right? Especially today, even more so um, than when the Constitution was written. So <clears throat> as you guys are reading this, you might find that certain things are more interesting or apply more to your life. So I just want you to be thinking about that. And then at the end, you can write me a paragraph explaining why. And there's no right or wrong answers as long as you explain it a little bit. Okay, so I will let you guys get started and I will obviously be here if you have any questions uh, or if there's anything I can help you out with. Awesome, thanks, Tija. That's, that's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs>